pre-workout nutrition. What do you have before a session? Do you use pre-workouts? Do you use caffeine? What? I will. And how does it change when you get to a comp? Um, I'll generally have a monster before my event session just because we leave early. I'm not a big pre-workout guy at all. I will very occasionally have them, but I will save it for when I really, really, really need a boost. Um, it's been a while since I've had one. Um, but the one I use, it's uh, it's um, Team Affinity. Oh, God, I forgot. The, I forgot I could plug this. It's um, Primal. It's Primal, but it's... Um, yeah, yeah. Well, no, Primal no, 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 no. Primal Core. Which is a really basic one, anyway. So it's not very, it's not super hardcore, high stim. Um, so even when I use that, it's nothing too crazy. I'm not a big like. Links you know, in the description. Links uh, the I don't know how to do that. <laughs> it's right. yeah. um, but there are, I mean, that's the basic one. There's levels above that with crazy amounts of stimulants in. So even even when I do take a free workout, it's not very intense, shall we say? I'm a my I can get like switched on so easily. Like I. Um, Shannon got a stopwatch over there. <laughs> and I was trying to see how quickly I could press the two buttons for like the shortest time. And my heart rate started going and adrenaline started going a bit. So I'm really good at getting switched on. So I don't generally need much of a kick unless I'm really, really feeling it or want to go like next level height for a session. <laughs> uh, how long before a session though? As close as possible for me. Um, yeah, I'll try and eat as pretty much as close as I can. Um, I don't really have any issues training after I've just eaten like some people do. So you've, you've touched on that, like the kind of getting fired up and putting the on switch for the, the session. But what about like, say, you know, like in the couple of hours before, like, is there, is there anything, do you, do, you, do you have like a pre-workout meal? Do you like say, what, what do you have like any different kind of stuff on training days, like breakfast or whatever, if you train before training or, mm. do, or do you just generally... No, it's pretty much the same. Uh, weekends we might eat slightly differently, but not really major. I train generally train six days a week anyway. So it's only really Sundays that I don't train. Yeah. Um, so I mean, I'll eat and I'll go to the gym. If I'm training in the morning, or if I'm training in the afternoon, I'll eat and I'll eat lunch and I'll go to the gym. There isn't any big routine before I train. Is if I'm training at home, I'll eat, chill twenty minutes, and then go and train. Yeah, I think this is another example of like one of those things that we're not saying anything revolutionary, and I I, I think it's really important because there are so so many kind of so many kind of bit businesses that make so much money off like like nu nu nutrition and you know that they've got their secret to the response that you're looking for actually. Whereas actually, I I, I just find and and what I recommend to people is, is say it all the time but you but finding finding what works for you find find what foods that make you feel good or like just generally feel good and then keep, wait like, as long as you feel like you need to to train yeah keep, 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 I, think, I, I think it's re really really important like because i think a lot of people make the error of getting to getting to like say a competition and then changing the changing the the habits like acutely like in like before the comp, yeah, or comp day really better and you like the the problem is with that. Like, how how often do you see it come to people who struggle with like digestive issues, or the the kind of feeling sick because they're coming up to the bar, or they feel like they need to go to the toilet or whatever? And and realistically, it's because the 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 change in the the kind of what they usually do. Yeah. Like, if you feel generally pretty good and your energy levels are stable, like mo most of the time during the week, like it's even more important that you kind of dial into that for when you're at competition because you want to be replicating that. Yeah. Do you know um, what I mean? It's like, when you see people ask me about carb loading. It's like, we don't need carb load. We're competing for five minutes. It's like, but don't, it's like, you've got as much energy. And easy. Just have a good meal. Have a good meal last. Make sure your food's regular a few days before. Make sure you're eating a decent meal before you compete. Have something to keep you going, but you don't need to do anything special. It's not a hugely energy demanding sport like running a marathon is where you'd actually carb load. So don't don't overcomplicate it. So find a little bit on this, just linked to the last one. Any go to any go to pre workout meals and snacks. So for me, again, like just touching on the on the last point, like just taking ownership. In fact, just reflect on what you did rather than looking at say um, 
like looking for articles and looking at what your favourite athlete does in terms of um, uh, eating and, and nutrition. Like j- just actually think, look back to what th- this is. A, this is a good way to look at things, right? Look back at when you on your social media, when you when you've hit like a good lift or when you felt really great in the gym. And then try and re- try and work out what you were doing in the lead up to that. What were what were you eating? What were you what would you what was your sleep like? What were your habits like in the lead up to that lift or that session where you felt really good? And then just try and replicate it and copy it. Um, so I, I've noticed for a, a thing personally for me, like I've like before training, I actually find that having um, like protein and fat like say egg like eggs works really well for me like if I, if I have like loads of like a big carby breakfast like a good few hours or a train then I find that my energy levels are a bit more like up and down whereas I feel that personally I feel more stable off uh, like fats and protein but if I know that if I get like for some reason when I get close to like say an overhead session like say log um, sometimes I've found that like, say I've been like, like say some easy digesting carbs, like an hour before, you know, like say a little bowl of porridge or cream of rice or some bagels or something before a session can help me not go lightheaded as much. And that, that that's just something that's specific to me. Whereas you might, you might find people who the, the other way around, like they need, they feel like they need, they, they respond better to having, having loads of carbs in the morning, carbon up in the morning. Like what, what do you find works for you and what kind of patterns, have you seen any patterns with clients or anything? Uh, with my, uh, I have carbs for every meal. So mm. I don't know any different. Um, I'll sometimes train after my breakfast, which might be malt wheaties or frosties, if little don't have malt wheaties in. Or I'll sometimes train after lunch, which is whatever Shannon has made us. Honestly, I don't. As long as I need, I have a lot of food, and then I train. As long as I feel, I, I, I kills my any. It kills my sessions if I start to feel hungry. So I do try and eat close enough, enough, and have something to keep me going. Uh, it might just be like well, jaffa cakes. I, I say it. People ask me what they have during comp, like jaffa cakes, and I feel like I. I should have something more complicated, but yeah, as long as I don't feel hungry throughout a session, I'm good to go. Um, and for the longer sessions, it will have some like little snaps throughout just to keep me going. Um, if it's just kind of general two hour gym session, I was have a biggish meal before. Well, all my meals are quite big, biggish meal beforehand and train through it. I think with this one is like you say, find what works for you. Cause I can't tell you what I eat. You, you might be all bloated and, and feel awful. Just find what works for you. Try a few different things. And when something feels good and it's fine, just stick with it. Yeah. True. Or stick with something on that kind of same. If it's, I don't know, if it's carbs and fats, like you say, or carbs and protein, just stick with that comp- rough combination and you can't go far wrong. Yeah. And I think, like, say, during comp or du- during during the session, I don't really, personally, I don't really eat and I really, really struggle to drink during the session. Like, I just don't drink whatsoever, which I feel like, Anyway, that, that's a slightly different thing, but but like during during competition because it's like such a very often it might be like say three to six hours. Like you do you do need to you do need to eat there even if you don't feel feel particularly hungry. Um, so I find that what's a really important thing is is ha- personally having ca- having carbs and ideally easy digesting carbs. And again, that's going to be individual to you. So Paul, Paul used a great example of using um, Jaffa cakes. This is another example. You can spend an absolute fortune on fancy sports companies like fancy gels and whatever. I realised this watching Tour de France and they were having cans of Coke before they went up out the West. And I was like, ah, yeah, they just need sugar. Yeah. Well, they just need sugar. <laughs> that, that's it. You look like a bit of caffeine too when you're halfway five and a half hours into a stage. Like look like Lucas Aid, for instance. Like what what is it? It's just a, it's a drink with like loads of sugar in, yeah. isn't it? So yeah. like I love having like I used to love it when I was younger, like having having Coca Cola. Mm. Like it's just amazing. So like I've started having those on comp days, like can, can yeah, all yeah, kinds yeah. of coke, go, and yeah. it's, am- it's amazing. Great, yeah. But like people people look at you like oh, oh I thought you're an athlete kind yeah. of thing. I got this because I went to the when I was getting married, I was in uh, Cyprus. I went to this gym and I had a, can, a bottle of Pepsi. And I was like, oh, it's like your pre-workout. 
And I'm like, if I had, if this was Lucas Aid Sport, no one bat an eyelid. <laughs> or Lucas Aid Sport with some caffeine tablets, no one bat an eyelid, but I've got a Pepsi, which is a bit of caffeine and sugar. And he's like, is that a pre workout? Then I was too strong for his gym and he started saying I was going to break the building down. So mm. that showed him. But yeah, if you, if it feels good and it makes you feel good, stay with it. Don't don't worry about it. It's not being complicated or fancy enough. Yeah. So um, personally for me, like I generally like, I love eating and I generally like eating my calories. So so stuff like, even though I, did, I, did, I will enjoy a kind of coat now, but like I'd rather have like some like, say easy digestible fast sugars like say you know like a bag of midget gems or something or if i'm wanting something a little bit slower releasing but easy digestible stuff like snacker jacks or, or rice cakes like i really enjoy and if i like find like a di- digest them really well or bagels if i have stuff like pasta or um like say toast and stuff like that i feel like i've I just feel like I struggle to digest it as well. So, but again, like everybody's going to be different to, to this. So, explore, take ownership, and reflect. Boom. Peace out.